So here is the Enyaq 7 with the Sony 18-55mm lens attached. I did not get the uh, black lens that comes with Enyaq 7, so here's one that's from Enyaq 5. And if you're wondering how the silver lens looks like on the Enyaq 7 body, this is how it looks. So, not too bad. It actually is the same color as the lens mount, so nothing too uh, distracting here. So, totally fine, in my opinion. Silver lens, black body. I mean, it's the same as any X5N anyway. So, okay. So, a few things I've noticed after playing around with the NX7 for a little bit is the viewfinder is very large, so bigger than uh, the Nikon D7000 viewfinder. So, that's um, very nice when you're framing. And in terms of focus speed, let me try a few objects. So, this is the focusing. Let's try near and far. I guess that was a little too close. So. Definitely, definitely faster than the NX 5N. And the NX 5N is definitely faster than any X5. So it's nice to see that Sony is making progress on the autofocus department. Not as fast as the Nikon 1 series or the uh, new Panasonic and Olympus cameras, but definitely not sluggish. There's a noticeable difference from using this and uh, from having used an X5N for a while. And this is pretty low light condition, you might not be able to tell in this video, but it's basically, I think, 120 watts light at, uh, in total, and it's having no trouble focusing in a rather fast manner. There's no hunting. And uh, right now I'm in aperture priority mode. Um, there's been a lot of videos about the Trinavi navigation so I'm not going to talk too much about that. So in this case, this dial adjusts the aperture. So a uh, bigger display pops up, showing you the actual aperture F number, which is nice. The right one changes the exposure compensation. And uh, one thing that it ha does is it doesn't quite count how many clicks you've gone. So if you did it really fast, it doesn't really go any faster. So that's one small difference between this and the mechanical uh, dial on, say, the D7000. This dial is the ISO. So you can directly change ISO by turning this dial, not like on the 5N where you have to press a button first and then turn the dial. This is currently set to focus. So a uh, single point, oh, I guess I have to use this. So multi-point, center, multi again, flexible. And uh, this, oh, I guess this dial changes the um, position. So does this dial of the flexible focus. So usually I leave it in center. So overall, um, very nice camera. Autofocus speed is much faster than I thought coming from an X 5N. Could always be a little faster, but really at this point, um, there's not much to complain about unless you're shooting sports. And uh, flash. Okay, flash works. Um, here, autofocus, manual focus. So you, right now the setting is, while this is depressed, you'll see the uh, the icon change from autofocus single to manual focus. So you can 
turn the ring uh, on the lens to manual V focus. And if you switch it to auto exposure lock, then when you press it, uh, this asterisk comes up and it locks the exposure at the current framing so you can recompose. Other than that, uh, at display, you have a few display modes. You have the spirit level here, live histogram, and back to this. So basically, mostly the same displays um, except the level compared to the NX 5N. Well, here's a very, very brief um, hands-on of the NEX7 with a silver lens.